is the Diet Coke Mentos geyser. Crazy, I know, I did it. But you might be wondering, why does this effect happen? Well, water mo molecules strongly attract each other, linking together to form a tight mesh around each bubble of carbon dioxide in each soda. So just Sprite. In order to form a new bubble, or even expand a bubble that has already been formed, water molecules must push away from each other. It takes an extra energy to break the surface tension. In other words, water resists the expansion of bubbles in the soda. When you drop the Mentos into the soda, the gelatin and gum arabic from the dissolving candy break the surface tension. This disrupts the water to mesh so that it takes less work to expand and form new bubbles. Each Mentos candy has thousands of tiny pits all over the surface. These tiny pits are called nucleation sites, perfect places for carbon dioxide bubbles to form. As soon as the Mentos hit the soda, bubbles form all over the surface of the candy. Couple this with the fact that, men that the Mentos candies are more dense than the soda. Therefore, the Mentos sink to the bottom of the bottle and you've got a double whammy. When all of the, this gas is released, it literally pushes all of the liquid up out of the bottle in an incredible soda blast. You can see a similar effect when cooking potatoes or pasta. When they are lowered into a pot of boiling water, the water will sometimes boil over because organic materials that leach out of the cooking in potatoes or pasta disrupt the tight mesh of water molecules at the surface of the water making it form e making it making it easier to form and foam bubbles you may ask yourself though why not any other coke why is diet coke always a soda of choice well you can use any other coke simple reason of not using other sodas is that other sodas would cause it to be sticky and that's a hard mess to clean up 
There are various theories debated as to the exact scientific explanation of the Diet Coke and menthol phenomenon. While combining carbonated liquids with the sugar canes causes the gas to be created, the explosive geyser-like results of the combination is claimed by many scientists to be a physical, not chemical reaction. To form a new bubble, water molecules must push away from each other. It takes extra energy to break this surface tension. So, in other words, water resists the expansion of bubbles in the soda, causing a strong push out of the bottle, creating a geyser.